Coming up on Hands on Mac, let's take a look at a utility for Mac OS that helps you keep track of the life and health of the battery of your iOS, iPad OS, and Mac OS devices. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This, this is Twit. Twit. Welcome back to Hands on Mac. I am Micah Sargent, and today we are taking a look at a little application I use called Coconut Battery, a silly name for a very helpful utility that you can install on your Mac OS device. It is available for free, uh, and you can buy Coconut Battery Plus for a one-time purchase of $12.95. We'll talk about what Coconut Battery Plus includes. Uh, but this is a great tool if you are kind of trying to get a little more information about the battery of your Mac. Mac, your iPhone, your iPad, whatever device you happen to have, and kind of want to see a little bit more information than you might otherwise get uh, just by plugging it in or by looking at the uh, battery utilities we talked about before. So let's head over to macOS to take a look. All right, here we are on macOS, and you can see I have Coconut Battery launched. I do have the Plus version, and again, I'll talk about the difference between the two uh, soon. But with Coconut Battery, you will see immediately information about the device that you have. In this case, I'm rocking a MacBook Air from 2022 with an M2 chip. Uh, it has the model number, and then it has information about the current state of the battery. So it shows you the current charge of the battery, the full charge capacity, meaning how much it can possibly be charged, and then the design capacity, how much it was designed to be able to be charged. So how much could it possibly be versus you know, what it is currently. And this means that as it stands, this battery is still young enough that it has not had any issues where it's not able to charge as much as an older device, right? It has its full design capacity available. It shows the manufacturing date uh, of the battery, the cycle count, how many times it's been charged, uh, its current battery status according to macOS. So macOS kind of assigns a simple uh, rating. In this case, this is good. That's what you want. Uh, the current battery temperature, how much it's charging or discharging, and whether the power adapter is uh, connected. You can get a little bit more information, including uh, looking at battery info. Depending on your device, you will have more or less information. So uh, Coconut Battery gives you as much as it possibly can. So in this case, we don't know the manufacturer. We don't know the manufacturer, or that's, that's the only thing that we don't know. Everything else it does show us, uh, including the serial of the battery specifically. Um, it's specific specific age, 608 days old, and again, that charge cycle of 93. It will also give information about the Mac itself, uh, the serial, its age, its manufacture date, if that information is available, and the model number, as well as what current version of OS is running. Uh, the advanced viewer will give even more information, which this is kind of a cool screen. This is a tool that you get as part of the Coconut Battery Plus purchase uh, that will show you the uh, SSD information, it will tell you what current firmware it's on, uh, how many hours it's been kind of running, uh, the lifetime use of it, so how much of the expected use of the device you have actually used, I've only used 1%, uh, power cycles, how much data has been read and how much data has been written uh, from the device itself. So just a little bit more information about that. Now, every time you run Coconut Battery, you will get a a comprehensive history every day uh, you will get a comprehensive history of the health of your battery so here you can see uh, each day it's collecting information like the charge cycles like the health of it and uh, because it is currently you saw those numbers were the design capacity was lower than what this is actually you know showing so that is why you're seeing that 103 percent 102 percent whereas with the iphone that we'll talk about in a moment that's where you're seeing 100 percent and how many cycles there have been uh, the history viewer will actually keep track of that information over time. There's a feature called Smart Save, and it will talk about the maximum capacity of the device, how many cycles it's been through, and so on and so forth. And again, here with the uh, device, you're seeing the maximum capacity and what um, 
you know, the batteries, ideas, the device ID, et cetera, et cetera. So this information is something that you can kind of keep track of over time and see what the health of your battery is like and how it does change. Uh, the last little tab here is for iOS devices that you would plug in. So let's talk about that because that is kind of the other aspect of this. So I have an iPhone here. Uh, this is an iPhone 15 and when I plug this device into uh, the Mac using the USB-C charger or USB-C port, then I will see a connection within Coconut Battery. Uh, and so my iPhone 15 Pro Max shows up. It shows the model. It shows the iOS version, its storage space. But here you can see that the full charge capacity is 4403 and the design capacity for this device is 4422. So it is 99.6% of the original design capacity. It's able to charge to 4405, not quite to that 4422 that was the original um, design capacity for this device. You can see the temperature again, the charge count. Uh, you can get more information about the battery, including in this case, the manufacturer, the manufacturer date, the age of the device, the serial, and you can get the uh, full battery lifetime data as well. And then, of course, information about the device itself, uh, the model, the serial number, the processor. And if we choose the advanced viewer, check out all of the information that is available here, uh, including, as I mentioned before, the specific information about uh, the different components of the device. So all of that is available to you when you plug in your iPhone. So now that I've plugged in this iPhone, I will from that point on have information about this iPhone included in the history, but I can take a new device like an iPad. So I've got this iPad air here and we will plug this device in as well. Once again, USB-C and we will, uh, get a prompt on the screen that says, trust this computer. You want to tap trust and type in your passcode. That is what gives coconut battery the ability to actually uh, connect with this device. And so then we can go into iOS device and we can look at the uh, devices that are plugged in, including the, and in this case, it is failing to show. I've had this happen before. So uh, that is because of the iPad not previously being registered with the computer. So all we do is we close out of coconut battery. We relaunch coconut battery. We plug in the iPad once more, and then we choose iOS device. And now you can see that the iPad air shows up uh, again, model manufacture date. We've got the battery information. This is down to 87.7% of the original design capacity. So even less than we uh, saw before. That's because the age of the battery is 1,259 days. So this thing's been around a while in comparison to the other devices that we have. And with this, you know, obviously this information is something that's going to change over time. So if you're someone who wants to regularly keep track of the life of your battery, maybe you want to see why it seems like you're getting uh, sudden slowdowns or you are concerned that there could be something wrong with your battery. But for some reason, the built in diagnostic tools for the iPhone or your iPad are not showing what you would expect. Coconut battery is the way to do that um, with coconut battery. By default, you get the information regarding the iOS or iPadOS battery, the Mac battery, you get uh, the ability to save that battery health information as you saw. And what you don't get is the ability to uh, connect to the device over Wi-Fi. So you'll notice that now this device doesn't need to be USB. I can just use it over Wi-Fi. Um, you also don't get those lifetime analyzers. So the ability to see how the ch how the battery changes over time, uh, the advanced viewers that gave that even more information, uh, those little pieces of information like uh, all of the components and also the ability to print out this information. You can create kind of printing templates uh, so that if you want to kind of keep track of this in a physical form, you're able to do that. Uh, otherwise, you can just use this program for free. Coconut Battery uh, is available from Coconut 
flavor. But I wanted to give you a tool that you could use that I use to kind of step outside of what Apple provides and see uh, from kind of a third party look at things, what the state of the battery is, how it changes over time, and where uh, battery health is for your device. Folks, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Hands on Mac. It is always my pleasure to bring this show to you each and every week. And as I always say, I'll be back again next week with another episode of Hands on Mac. You can reach out to me, Micah, at twit.tv. Bye-bye.